Winnie the Pooh's secret personalities. What your favorite characters really represent. Well, we are about to dive way too deep into things that probably don't need diving into. Today, we're off to the Hundred Acre Wood, a place where stuffed animals have more personality than most people you'll meet in the real world. Now, you might be wondering why Pooh is so obsessed with honey, or why Eeyore seems to have his own personal rain cloud. Well, it turns out these characters might represent different personality types, something that makes them a bit more complex than your average stuffed animal. And yes, we're going to overanalyze them, because that's what we do. Winnie the Pooh. First up, Winnie the Pooh. Our honey-obsessed bear is basically the embodiment of ignorance is bliss. Pooh is the friend who's always just there. Not causing ruckus, not overthinking, he's just content. He's the type who'd shrug off a missing sock and say, Oh, bother. Well, you're tearing the house apart looking for it. Pooh's personality type is all about enjoying the simple pleasures in life. Like honey. And, uh, more honey. <laughs> He's here to teach us the art of mindfulness. Or, as Pooh would probably put it, thinking about nothing much at all. Piglet. Next on our list is Piglet, the tiny bundle of nerves who's willing to prove that size doesn't matter, unless, of course, you're trying to reach the top shelf. Piglet is that anxious friend who's always worrying about something, but when push comes to shove, he's the one who will face the heffalumps with you. You know, his arch nemesis, the heffalump, his greatest fear, but he'll face it with you head on, and probably with a nervous little squeak, but still, Piglet's personality type reminds us that courage isn't about being fearless. It's about being scared and doing it anyway. So the next time you're feeling a bit piglety, remember, it's okay to be small. As long as you're willing to stand tall, even if your voice cracks a little. Tigger. Now, let's talk about Tigger. Tigger is the friend who bounces into your life and immediately turns everything upside down. Literally. He's the extrovert who's always up for anything, even if that anything involves a strong likelihood of disaster. Tigger's personality type is all about energy. Lots of it. He teaches us that life is meant to be lived at full speed, even if that sometimes means tripping over your own tail. But hey, that's what Tiggers do best. Eeyore. And then there's Eeyore, who could probably use a good dose of vitamin D. If Tigger is the life of the party, Eeyore is the one who shows up, sighs, and makes you question why you threw a party in the first place. But don't write him off. There's more to this gloomy donkey than meets the eye. Eeyore's personality type is all about finding comfort in the gloom. He's the friend who sees the rain cloud in every silver lining. But he's also loyal to a fault. Eeyore teaches us that it's okay to have bad days. Or bad weeks. Or, you know, a bad year. But even in the gloom, there's room for loyalty and love. Just don't expect him to crack a smile about it. Rabbit and Owl now, let's not forget Rabbit. If there's anyone who could benefit from a little less caffeine, it's Rabbit. He's the one who tries to keep everyone in line, though half the time it feels like herding cats. Rabbit represents that practical, organized personality type. The one who's convinced that if everything isn't in its place, the world might just come to an end. <laughs> and then there's Owl, wise, knowledgeable, and just a tad long-winded. Owl is the intellectual who can and will tell you everything you never needed to know and all that stuff you didn't want to know. He's the friend who's always ready with advice, whether you asked for it or not. 
So, whether you're a Pooh, a Piglet, an Owl, or even an Eeyore, remember that each of these characters teaches us something valuable about ourselves and about the odd assortment of friends we choose to surround ourselves with. There is, in this deep dive into the world of stuffed animals, with surprisingly complex personalities, some wisdom, an ounce, or two, or maybe three. But for now, let's focus on just one. In the tales of Pooh and his friends is a brilliant exploration of the value of all sorts of personality types, even beyond what we've considered here. But did A. A. Milne write with the intention of exploring the human psyche, dispositions, or even mental illness with his readers? There's no evidence that that is the case. It seems that Mill was simply intending to write a good story. But in the genius and creativity of that story and those creatures, we can see something more. So here's the analysis. Often in the creation of one thing, much more is revealed without intention. It is a little like looking at meaningless ink blots and seeing something more, or looking at the clouds and recognizing familiar shapes. If you think about it, ink blots, clouds, and the hundred acre wood and many other things are remarkable mirrors of our souls. And that's it, an ounce submitted for your consideration. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this little video, please go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, hit the notification bell, tell everybody you know. <laughs> we need all the help we can get in convincing the algorithms within the interweb that we're worth watching. And that's how you can help. Thanks.